Hi, I'm Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. Regarding the question, how does nanotechnology work? It's very simple. Nanotechnology is a multidiscipline of fields like chemistry, physics, biology, engineering. For example, before we're able to develop better computer or better biochips, we have to understand how things work together in a sub-molecular or atomic level with the ability to understand, design, and manipulate atoms or molecules in a very, very small level, about 1 to about 100 nanometer scale. One can have a better understanding how better works and also make a better product, for example, in a semiconducting, if we can go to the nanoscale, what can make the computer chips um, with a more ability for more capacity to storage, it will function faster, it can reduce the heat, therefore it can last longer. And uh, in the pharmaceutical industry, if we want to develop the new drug, one has to understand how the drug molecules work or interact with the body. And as you know, many drugs, particularly many chemotherapy treatment, has intrinsic toxicity. Many cancer patients suffering from the side effect of the, the drug. So the way to reduce the toxicity is to understand how the drug interacts with each other and also how it affects our human organs. And also, if we can deliver the drug directly to the body, Instead of giving them a large dose of a cancer drug, you give them a very small dose, just enough to target to the tumor. You can be much more effective and reduce toxicity. Those are the way nanotechnologies can work, give us a better way for treatment, also to make things better. And in summary, I think by understanding things in a sub subatomic or sub sub molecular level, one can develop a better product, you know, the way we wish. Lloyd Tran with the California Institute of Nanotechnology.